Well, it's BVE 2017 and I'm at the port of stand and I'm talking to you through an Interotron and you might think, well, what is an Interotron? Good question, you may ask. And the man who can answer that, of course, is John Hilton from port -Prompt. Hi, John. Hi, John. How are you doing? Yeah, not too bad. Tell us, what's an Interotron? Interotron, it's just a way of being able to get a, a, a more natural performance yep. from maybe a presenter who isn't very comfortable in reading words and so on. So essentially this is a, a, a passive system, yeah. so we're just using a, a reflection monitor yeah. um, to be able to get that, coach that performance out of it. Another way of doing it is with an active system, so if we take for example the larger broadcast monitors we've got, instead of feeding this a VGA or a, 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 um, a prompt feed, yeah. I'm feeding it the feed from a second camera. Okay. So it's just a technique uh, to be able to get let's say, a more natural performance from someone that maybe doesn't normally read script and so on. Uh, being used a lot, Sky used this quite a lot actually in a number of sports uh, programs as well. Quite an interesting approach in Territron. Brilliant. Well, that's one thing. The other thing we've noticed you've got here is a slightly different setup that I've seen before. Uh, you've got a system with a PTZ in. Tell us about that. Yeah, we're finding more and more clients using BTZ uh, sort of rigs now and so on, sort of one-man remote control operations and so on. Um, what we've got rigged here, and we've, we've had this for about six months, uh, slight changes that we've got a slightly different way that we're rigging the PTZ. So we're now rigging it from above the, the, the hood, which gives us a better uh, use of the, uh, the, the dynamic on the, on the, or the degrees on the lens and so on. can be from the bottom. And this just rigs up from the top. Um, sorry, we've got that up here so we can see that yeah. sort of dropping down from here. Yeah. Uh, and we can rig this on. Um, this is actually the same rig that, or a similar rig to one that we've sold to the Met Office, uh, where they're using, again, one of our broadcast quasars, yeah. 1500 nit, very high brightness monitor, yeah. but could be worked on, on our fusion range as well, which is another we, a rig we've done recently for, for a university. They've got a self-drive um, sort of a presentation studio. Um, so I guess that leads to then the next part of the range, which is Fusion. Yep. So one of the things that we've taken on Fusion, when we originally launched this uh, about nine months ago, uh, we didn't have a flipping version of it. Yep. So we've now got ability not just to be able to do the mirroring in the software, but we can do that on the monitor as well. So that's something new for, uh, for the show here at, uh, at BVE 2017. Flipping Fusion. Flipping Fusion, <laughs> fusion we'll is great. Flipping Fusion, Terratrons to Flipping Fusion. Uh, and obviously you've got a whole range of other systems as well, uh, from the iPad systems up to the, obviously the high-end systems as well. If people haven't been able to see you here at BVE, they want to find out more, is there a website they can go to? Portaprompt.co.uk. The, the only other thing I would add, John, is that on the 365 rig, we've got a lovely new black case. Go and have a look at their systems. You can see the black case now. Uh, this is the new case for the 365 and 465 rigs, so check those out. And don't forget to check all the other videos we're doing here at BV 2017 at our website, kitplus.com.